Solanke does well against Alex Pearson. Solanke is the defender, completely missed it. He knocks Phil Billing through, and Phil Billing knocks Bournemouth into the lead. Disaster at the back as far as Millwall are concerned, but ruthless Bournemouth take advantage, and it's Phil Billing arriving in the box once more to calmly put it beyond Bielkowski. Jonathan Wilkeir applauding as the Cherries pressure forced Millwall to waste it. He's away with a great ball down the field to Danjuma. This is route one. Can Danjuma make it 2 0? I think he can. He can. Route one. Asmir Begovic raises his hand in celebration. The Cherries defenders run to Asmir Begovic, who saw the opportunity to boot the ball long down the field. Danjuma ran straight through, and despite a touch on it from the goalkeeper, it bounced its way into the bottom right hand corner. Two minutes to go to half time. Brooks has got a chance now, just outside the penalty. Brooks in field, a chance for him to make it three. And David Brooks has, and surely Bournemouth, a giant step now to securing that top six spot. It'll be all eyes on Reading later, but Bournemouth have done everything they can here to make sure that tonight is the night they can say they're in the playoffs. Billing, then Juma, and now Brooks. There's the ball from Malone on the left-hand side, swung in. Uh, Jed Wallace is there, and he's put it into the back of the net. And Millwall have shown there is life in the Lions yet. The Cherries paused at the back, thinking they might get a flag. Another clean sheet slips away, unfortunately. Frustrated, the Cherries at the back. The lovely link-up as Billing rolls in. Solanke, 4-1, job done. Solanke has his ball to go with his two assists. He makes up for missing an open goal. It's 15 for the season for Dom Solanke. And that is Millwall now surely out of sight at 4-1.